Hello, hello, I'm Karen Barna. Welcome to my video. If you are looking for any information on me, jump on over to my website, karenbarner.com. I wanna to talk to you today about midlife. You know, for years and years and years, we've heard about midlife crisis. And that's when, you know, the guys start buying a sports car and wearing the gold chains and the women start acting different, wigging out. And I, and I wonder, is there such a thing as midlife crisis? I don't think so. I think it's a journey. I think when you hit midlife, and who even knows where that is? We just had a discussion in the office. Is that 40, 50? How old's midlife anymore? I mean, what do they say? Today's, um, for, today's 40 was something. Today's 40s was yesterday's 30, or today's 30s just to anyway. You guys know what I'm saying. I think it's a journey. I think women, and I talk about this all the time, Women get to a point in their life where whether the kids are growing up, the husband, you know, they start looking around. But I don't think it's a crisis. I think it's an opportunity to look within yourself and say, hey, am I happy? Is this what I plan? Am I who I thought I would be? Because that's, that's you know, being introspective of yourself is not a crisis. It is something that we should be taught as children to do to have self-awareness of who we are and where we're at. But we don't, we get on that treadmill, we get into what I call the drift, where we just start drifting and, you know, we're, we're just trying to keep it together, or, you know, keep the husband, keep the house, keep the spouse, keep whomever, keep the kids, keep the pets, keep everything together as we deal with our stuff, you know, whether it's stuff from our past or trying to deal with our own stuff. And then we just hit that point where we kind of look around and say, hmm, is this what I thought it would be? And then you begin your journey. It's like my book, The Blue Rose Bookstore, A Journey of Healing. Annie went on a journey. She wasn't having a crisis. She was fine. She wanted financing. They said, you know, you need to take some time off from work. She took some time off to work. Now, while she took time off from work, she ran into a crisis because that was what was destined for her because she never took the time because she was working so hard with her, her, with her company and her life that she never took the time to look within. And if you don't take the time to look within, I promise you, the universe will force you to look within because that's how it works. The universe will make you look within. You know, I was on a podcast earlier today and we were talking about how if you watch the guidelines, the markers, the universe will always put things and people in your path to help you move forward. And if you choose to ignore that or you don't recognize the signs, you don't recognize the person popping into your life randomly handing you a book. And, and you know, or when I was in Tennessee about, I don't know how long ago, probably 10 years ago, we were staying in a, con in a condo in um, wherever Pigeon Ford is by Dollywood. And randomly the book, a uh, Joel Olstein book was there. And I hadn't brought a book with me, so I read it cover to cover and was like, well, I never even heard of him. And it, the book educated me. That's, a, you could normally say that's a random, factor you can say there's a reason that happened it's an energetic universe everything happens for a reason so don't ever view your life as a crisis or you know oh no my gosh now I'm turning you know 40 or 50 I am in a couple of weeks getting ready to turn 61 now I think that is so cool but some people will be like man you're getting old are you getting ready to retire that's a common I always hear you get ready to retire I can assure you that I will retire absolutely if you're all waiting I will retire but I'm gonna still have my own company, my own business, because it, I'm only 60. That's it, 60 is the new 50. I think that's how it goes. I mean, I, I still feel like I'm 40, but, I, but don't buy into this crisis. You know, when this happens, you're gonna have a crisis. It's a journey. Enjoy the journey, embrace the journey, because it's fun. Sure, there's gonna be bad times, and there's, but there's gonna be awesome times too. And sure, you're gonna get really sad over stuff, but you're gonna get really happy over stuff. So when you look at your life, don't think this is a crisis or you know what a cluster, beep. Think this is a journey and this too shall pass. So enjoy it, enjoy aging, enjoy everything that comes with it. Enjoy your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. Just enjoy life. Pay attention to the road markers, pay attention to what's going on around you and you will, your self-awareness will be amazing and you'll be so happy. So if you have any questions, let me know. 
Otherwise, Enchanted Leaders, I'll talk to you guys soon. Here's to love and gold dust. Bye-bye.